All right. We have been partnering with Google because we'd like to help our listeners and our viewers to, you know, take advantage of opportunities that are right here. Many of them free opportunities like what is provided on the Google platform. Get your business, get your business more visible, get your business to reach out to uh, more people, get insights from uh, how people are searching your product or commodity, get insights into uh, the behavioral patterns or even the shopping patterns of your clients, of your customers, of your potential customers, so that then you can target your communication or even make your product to suit what the market wants and what the market needs. Just going on to all this through the Google platform. We've been advising you and encouraging you to just get your business on Google. So when I go and search for your business, I'll find it. And you can do this using the help of partners who have come together and they've been recruited by Google to help with this. They're called Africa 118. If you go to your browser and type google.africa118.co.ke, that's google.africa118.co.ke, opens up this page that allows you to interact with the Africa 118 agency. Um, you can call them or they can even call you back. You just fill a form and tell them to call you back. They'll call you back. They'll tell you, all right, so we can help you with the journey of getting your business more visibility on Google for free. They don't charge you a thing. Get your profile up, uh, link it to your, webs uh, your website. If you don't even have a website, they'll help you to create at least a one-pager profile that's very good. You can add photos. You can add uh, any offers that you have. You can put your uh, location of your business. You can put the contact details of your business and all that. And then you can also start advertising and reaching to a wider audience. And still, Africa 1 and 8 are going to be able to help you. Rosemary Momanyu Pio, the SME lead for East Africa at Google, has been with us for a couple of weeks now. And she's been teaching us various things. This week is all about advertising and how to take advantage of the advertising platforms on Google. Go, Rosemary, good morning. Good morning, Eric. How are you this morning? I am fine, thank you. Morning, Do. Morning, Chichi. Good, good morning, morning, Rosemary. Good, good. So today we're going to spice things up a little bit. Right. Are you I'll guys ready it. for a quiz? <laughs> So I'm going Eric to quiz you. Uh, uh, Malimu, you don't just come up with exams like that. Pop it's quiz. Just like Pop that. quizzes work. Nice. You just come up like that. We see how we see how good. We see okay. how good you all I'm three ready are. For the quiz. Are you all ready? Okay. Yes. Do, are you ready? Oh. I have my questions. <laughs> sure. <laughs> okay, question number one. Let's do get this one first. And then, of course, you ask the audience if they have any questions. Wait, hold. Is there a prize? Call. There's going to be a prize, and okay. it's a secret. Ah, then ask many <laughs> questions, by all means. Please, don't limit it to one question. Ask many, and mark it out of ask. ten. Okay, great. Uh, uh. Number one. So, what tools are available to SMEs to support them to come online? What tools are available to SMEs? Is that the question you've asked? Yes. Yep. That is the question I've asked. All right. If I may just, I need clarification. Do you want... <laughs> <laughs> it's a simple Wait, question. If you ask a question, you need see, there's no... Do, do you want a one-word answer or do you want me to go into uh, details? All the tools. You can, give me, you can give me a phrase. Even you can just leave, I can leave actually even one or give two you tools. a word. You can give me a word, but explain what the word means. Google. <laughs> <laughs> <No>. <laughs> So you have, so who can, so now, I, I won't give prize. you a point for that one. <laughs> no, no. Can you please elaborate? In, in, in 30 seconds, Siti, that's how much time you have to I elaborate. need two seconds. Google business. Okay. What is that? Platform. Uh -uh. <laughs> so I, should it I just call it by Siti? It, uh -huh. it is a platform, an online platform from which you can actually get all the information you require. All you need to do is to be able to understand who Google are, what it is, and you need to have a gadget that can actually connect you to Google, and you also need to be able to read. Once you're able to do all these things, then you shouldn't have a problem. The rest actually is clear, and it, it's a step-by-step -step process that you can follow. Okay, all right. I mean, it's partial cor partially correct, but um, do, do, can you help him clarify it better for an SME specifically? Oh, right. So what you can do, one of the tools available is that creation of, of a profile for your business that okay. then essentially makes okay. you more visible to your to your target market. Right. OK, great. And, and how can you access this? Hey. this, this 
That one I give her even five points. <laughs> yeah, after I've done all the heavy lifting. <laughs> <laughs> the prize is mine. <laughs> so, next question. How can SMEs access these tools? Google. <laughs> Google is the answer. <laughs> Rosemary. And the answer is not Google. Uh, how can, they, can, how can, how can SMEs access... How can they access these, these tools? Uh, how can they access the tools? Yes. All right. So first of all, that that what you talked about is what creating a profile mm. and, and all that. Eh? Mm -hmm. um, there's an agency that's working with Google called Africa One One Eight, and you can go through them, or mm -hmm. you can uh, search for the words uh, Africa Rise. Africa Rise. I'm getting the leakage. From, from index one <laughs> google the word okay, africa great. rise it opens up this page and it tells you how to grow your business and then uh, once it opens that page you'll see how to create a google my business profile then you get now the other tools marketing toolkit and uh, market finder okay good good question next question what is the marketing kit <gasps> the who in, in, the marketing kit. <laughs> the marketing kit, the one that Siti just Eric just mentioned. Hey. Okay. All right. Okay. Can I ask a question? <laughs> <laughs> no, you can't ask a question. <laughs> what is the <laughs> You said kit. So where do you find it? <laughs> That's what she's asking. Where is it? where is index one here? <laughs> All right, index one, answer that. Uh -uh. So what is the, what 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 uh, is in the marketing kit essentially? Yeah, and how do you use it? What what is it? <clears throat> right. So now it's your it's your it's your basket of information whereby um, you have um, your like your your audience information, um, who then is available, what kind of product it is that you're trying to market, your your business. Um, um, what am I calling it? Your, your business research, essentially, that you can put together in terms of now what you would put on your profile to send it out to uh, the market once you then create this business profile. Mm -hmm. so index One has, has failed that question, unfortunately. Gosh, God, index One gets it wrong. <laughs> Eric, what is a marketing teacher, kit? Teacher, teacher, teacher. teacher. Okay, the question, I have teacher, to ask teacher. another question here. So, so you let me answer the question okay. first and get this All right. particular okay. price. Answer Let's see if I can get the answer. Answer the question. It, marketing kit is um, a tool that allows you to engage better with your audience or your potential audience. Mm -hmm. So, for example, it will oh. help you to create um, messages and banners. Mm -hmm. okay. okay. So you can create, for example, like a simple, uh, you, let's say you have an offer. You are able to then go, go and create a small flyer that, you know, write offer, um, rat skin hats, Correct. going for Correct. shillings. So we have a Christmas. new index one. Okay, perfect. I gave him Hold the on. answer, <laughs> just so you know. <laughs> okay, what is the, how, if I wanted to export my products out of the country, what, 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 where, what is the tool I can use and how do I access it? Uh, can I ask a question? <laughs> Yes, you can ask that question. All right. So, do you want me to go through Kenya a Chamber of Commerce, or do you want me to go through Google? Go through Google, please. But you can you can sell a Chamber of Commerce, but I would, I'm looking for the going through Google. All response. right. That question is simple, so I'll let Eric answer it. <laughs> <laughs> you only deal with the difficult ones. Yes. <laughs> uh, to get to other markets you need to just research and find out where um, other people are looking for the kind of products or services that you sell. So, for example, mm -hmm. I know that uh, a country like, uh, where is that country where your sister is? Malaysia. Myanmar. Mm -hmm. Myanmar. In Myanmar, they really enjoy wearing uh, my uh, mongoose handbags. Mm -hmm. okay. where, where did she leave Malaysia? Mo mongoose skin handbags. So, I'll go to Google and uh, there's a tool called Market Finder and, and then I put in my keywords. So, for example, mongoose leather handbags or mongoose skin or rat skin or rat claws uh, uh, necklace, right? And then it shows me where people are searching for such products and I can then look at the countries and see 
this is the country with the most such results and then i know uh, how then i need to start approaching those countries and then the market finder okay. will also tell me how i can uh, get to exporting to those countries what local organizations okay. or taxes are okay okay just just a, a clarification on that uh, one uh, if you have a website uh, or a business profile you type it into that uh, phrase uh, uh for market finder and it will go through your website and propose to you what keywords you have and then create for you a clustering of categories that you can then select and add to or remove from to help you decide where to go to. Okay, this one is Fondu. Do now that I want to export my products to Myanmar, mm. how do I go about creating awareness for my products in Myanmar? So now you can use these fancy things that you call Google Ads. Um, in some cases to create information about what you do and i also know that google has this fantastic thing whereby if i put in a certain amount i mean at this time then they're already able to help me and push this particular ad to those areas where certain people in those areas will be able to see that i offer this from kenya okay siki what three platforms are available to create these ads say that again siki this was siki what three platforms are available to create these ads that Tendu spoke about. Are you talking about search display video? There you go. You got hey. it. <laughs> <laughs> I'm talking about those three. Please, can you break that down? What is search? What is display? What is video? I thought search is what Google does. <laughs> okay. <laughs> video in layman How does term, it work? Video in layman terms cinema. How does search work, City? Well, as in the product that you're referring to. Yes. You know, we Google had to create advertising. We, mm. we, 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 were in a, we had agreed that you will ask me the difficult questions. Why are you asking <laughs> me? <laughs> All right. <coughs> you're talking are about you uh, a customer who has set up mm -hmm. their business. They have a profile. And they have yeah. an outreach and people actually know who they are and, and they also know what uh, what to do now. They probably mm. want to further their business. So okay. they need to know where these possible markets are, whether it's locally or internationally. Mm -hmm. Now, search, the way I understand it, comes into being because then you want to be sure and you want to get details. The process of looking for this process is what will now enable you and give you the information you require so that your decision-making process will be well informed. Mm -hmm. Yes. Okay. And just to summarize what you've said, if I understood correctly, it's a platform to help you create awareness using keywords. And, and you can then have these keywords show up in multiple countries, including Myanmar, and people can type for one goose tail, a belt, and they'll find that product. Mm -hmm. uh, CT, uh, thank you for that. Uh, Eric, how does display work? What is display? Display. Mm -hmm. PDA uh, display. <laughs> <laughs> let's let's let, let me just answer it from from um, how you, you understand it. Yes, you go to any website and you see as you're uh, reading the uh, articles on this website, there are these ads that will pop up. They they just appear in forms mm -hmm. of banners or in form of you know some certain text that's clearly an mm -hmm. advert. And this advert is not mm. necessarily telling you about what you're reading, but it's telling you about a certain product could be linked to what you're reading or maybe yeah. not. Okay. So now those are the display okay. ads. And how Perfect. display ads will work is it will either be that banner that I'll create for my mongoose tails, a very nice photo. Uh, and my models will exactly. be the mongoose, mongoose. Yes, mongoose. <laughs> Mongooses. Uh, and then the, then I'll, I'll run the ad using the Google platform and determine where I want the ad to be seen. So I want them to be seen in Myanmar. And then okay. Google has some partnership with various other websites, which are not necessarily yep. Google. <coughs> and if somebody in Myanmar, let's say Ndu's sister uh, in Myanmar, uh, is, con is, is, is uh, reading a certain article from Nigeria, mm -hmm. from a Nigerian website, or from a Kenyan website, mm -hmm. or even from a Myanmar mm -hmm. Myanmarese <laughs> website, then my ad will appear. Because I targeted it. Spot on. Spot on. Do, how do we pay for such ads? What, what is the way of charging for such ads? Well, um, 
so there's a certain amount you you could you could pay per day. So if you're looking at um uh certain amounts uh, amount of money that you want to spend per day, but then what it would do is that you will consolidate uh, these over uh, a period of time. So um the amount of times that somebody essentially who's looking at your video would click, then that's how much then you would you would uh, um pay. So it's an amount per click. Cost per click, mm. spot on. And and City, how do you pay for display ads? How do you pay? Yes, I mean, what what is that cost? How how then do we assess? Because it's such as cost per click. What is display? Well, well, you mean? Are you asking me to say something that is beyond just the impression? How, yes. So tell me, how how is it charged? Is it cost per impression or is it cost per click, like such? Well, it, it, it's, it's not, it's, well, put it this way. According to Google, uh, they are, there's a limit. I'm putting this in layman's terms. If you notice, I, okay. I, I don't talk technically. Talk, they, talk layman. To yes, me. I, I'm going to talk layman. There they, they, they are limits that are set that one, for instance, if it doesn't go beyond, that's why the word impression came to mind, you will not be charged. If it goes beyond a certain limit, then you will be charged. Okay. Now that you're explaining to me video, but for display, it's cost per thousand impressions. So if your ad is shown a thousand times on those publisher websites, a thousand times, and then there's a cost for that. Now, since you've set a preamble for display, I'm sorry, for video, Eric, how, how do we charge on YouTube? So it's YouTube, such a cost uh, per click. Mm -hmm. I, I'm, I'm, I've gone to YouTube and I want to see what Rosemary has been talking about on Spice FM. So I am mm -hmm. looking at the video, one of the classes that you had. And then just as I mm -hmm. start to watch the video, this ad comes. And okay. Then there'll be a five minute, five second window. Yes. Before the button appears for skip ad. Correct. Now, between that five second and uh, 30 seconds, or even going beyond, that's when now the billing happens. So if it's... Um, okay. Uh, if somebody has watched that video for was it thirty seconds? Nalipa yeye. Cost per view. Yeah, cost per view. Correct. Just to clarify, the first five seconds are always free, and if your video is thirty seconds or longer, we'll only charge the advertiser when people have viewed it for at least thirty seconds. If the video is shorter than thirty seconds, let's just say twenty seconds, we'll only charge you. When they have when people have viewed it for for that twenty seconds, that way, <clears throat> if they view it for less and they skip the ad, there is no cost to the advertiser. So it's a, a wonderful platform to help you create awareness, and you only pay when people have watched your entire video or at least thirty seconds worth of your video, and it's on a cost per view. Mm -hmm. <clears throat> and then I guess now for me, just maybe the last question, huh? uh, as an SME, uh, how then can I get this support? Is there is there a cost for it? Is there a fee for it? If I wanted to have my first ad campaign, is there a minimum spend to create this awareness? <clears throat> so what Google is asking you to do is spend, what, 50 bucks, $50, the, the, the equivalent of that, 5,000 shillings. And so Google is uh, doing this fantastic thing whereby they double that amount for you um, in this month where you're going to, to, to spend to create these ads. So there's support for that in terms of how you can go ahead and do that, get the video created, for example. Um, but if you spend 5,000 uh, shillings, about 5,500 shillings right now, according to the rates, then Google is going to spend 11,000 to make sure that you you get more uh, more ads out there and more value essentially for your money awesome. amazing congratulations you have all done well you have all passed that quiz hey. i'm hey. quite happy that you have <laughs> you, please you be sure content. we shall collect the prize <laughs> well done well done shall the so that means be today <laughs> you can you can definitely say you have been able to successfully understand the elements for businesses. Mm -hmm. So tomorrow we'll start, we'll jump into now what we can, how we can help individuals. So, so businesses, spot on, C T N do Eric, you guys have passed. Uh, I'm quite pleased that you can be able to truly explain what our products are, how they work to help SMEs recover. And from tomorrow we'll begin talking about individuals and see how we can support them now during this phase post COVID. So that's it. Okay. Well Thank done. Thank you very much. So at the individuals tomorrow, individuals in business. Yes, how, how we can help individuals. So today we were talking about how we can help uh, businesses for the last few weeks. Mm -hmm. Tomorrow we begin how we can help individuals. 
And then next week we'll jump into how we can help students and teachers uh, in this phase. Okay. okay. Thank you very much. Thank well you very done. much. I look forward to tomorrow's class. Amazing. Thank you. Have a good day. Cheers. Cheers. Thank Have you. A Have a nice day. day. 24 minutes after 9 o'clock. This is Kenya's Biggest Conversation. Remember, you can watch all the uh, lessons that we've been getting from Rosemary Momani, your PO, the SME lead for East Africa at Google, by just going to our website, uh, to our YouTube uh, channel, and it is Spice FM KE. Spice FM KE. Search Grow with Google, and you'll see all the uh, classes. Class studying episodes, episode one up to today's episode. And then you, if you have any questions, <coughs> google.africa118.co.ke that's google.africa118.co.ke they'll call you or you can call them have a conversation with them and they will take you through this entire journey of getting your business online this is the situation room the only way to start your day